Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be checking out this awesome 3D space navigation system. Uh, so let's, let's, let's get it in a build and check it out. All right, well, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, let's mess with it here. Uh, looks like it's got some pretty good information on it. Uh, we've got our Z, ZX axis here. Uh, looks like it's telling us that we are in atmosphere. We've got an altitude of zero kilometers. Uh, APG, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure somebody's going to comment down below. I see it moving. Uh, I'm sure somebody's going to comment down below on what that does. Uh, VS, I'm guessing that's our vertical speed. What is APG? Somebody will figure that out here in a second. Oh, and we've got a... Uh, I'm gonna call it a space ball. I don't know what this is called. Um, Ab Abogi or Abo, Abo something, I think is what it's called. Uh, again, correct me in the comments. I have no idea how to use this. This is basically a space artificial horizon uh, and it looks like it's wigging out all over the place. Uh, I am curious, uh, the screenshots show this on a smaller monitor. I'm gonna put this on a smaller monitor real quick and see what actually screens this fits on. Let's go to our monitors. Just out of curiosity, let's go ahead and grab a two by two or a two by three. We'll slap that on there and let's see what a one by three looks like as well. And I guess uh, we could go smaller. We could do a one by two. I'm just curious to see what, how, how it squishes and what it does to the actual screen here. And then we'll go ahead and throw it in something and we'll take it to space. We'll have to grab video signal from here, here, there, and there. And we're gonna have to turn it on somehow. Luckily there's a constant on already there. Uh, so let's do that. Let's spawn that in, check that out. Why did that cause me to lag out what in the world okay so it looks like it does still work even on the one by three hang on let me good gracious why is this a clean all vehicles yeah why did that lag my game out that makes no sense let's uh maybe it had something to do with the way it was sitting on the ground i don't know but we'll just do this we'll do this just for the sake of this little experiment here i don't know why we need to but storm works all right so we'll take that let's set that on the ground spawn that in and it's the most amount of lag. I don't understand what is so laggy about that. Is it just the number of monitors? It can't be. There's no way this is a lot of monitor. Anyway, okay. Oh, we're gonna struggle here for a second. So it looks like it, you know, it, it comes on a three by uh, three by three. Uh, it looks like it easily fits on a two by three. And it also looks like we can see it on a one by three, which I like. I like the fact that it actually is pretty slim and I probably will be using that in my builds. Uh, but it does have some touch abilities here. Let's move around and see what we can notice here. Anything? Nothing's changing here. Okay, let's get this in a build and actually check this out. God, why is it so laggy? Okay, so I've just placed it inside uh, my rocket ship here. Uh, this is a rocket ship that you guys have not seen. This is basically my test platform. Uh, this is how I've been learning how to do space stuff here in game. And I apologize I haven't shown it to you guys. This is basically a first time, uh, first first exclusive look here at my test platform. Uh, but this is what I've been using to try to figure things out, trying to figure out how to get you, get you guys some tutorials and some builds so you guys can understand what's going on. Uh, we're just kind of understand the mechanics of the game here. We're, we're, we're pumping fuel here. We're trying to get things where they actually will make it to space. And clearly we are still struggling because uh, we have not done that yet on a full tank of fuel where we constantly have to keep using uh, infinite uh, but the idea is we've got some holders here these guys hold up the uh, rocket keep it from falling over uh, we've got some fuel arms here oh okay we're going okay yes that happened that happened all right let's get back out there we'll stay in no clip until we figure things out all right so we're pumping fuel from the uh, the tanks down here that system's kind of not working they've changed some things since I've uh, done that uh, there is a weather vane right here let's go ahead and jump on this right here uh, so I was going to be pulling wind sensor and data from that to kind of let you know if the rocket was safe to take off, if there was too much wind. Uh, so these are our fuel arms that go in and they fill up with hydrogen and oxygen. We've got our massive boosters on the side. we got some stabilization arms. And I'm working on an elevator and, you know, something to kind of walk across here. But let's go ahead and let's disconnect all of these. We'll have all those come off and get out of the way. And then we can jump in here. And we'll go ahead and grab a seat. And you can see we've got our sensor here. Um, that way we can check what's going on. I don't have a whole lot in here. I've literally just got an artificial horizon and a couple of dials that do nothing. I've got my own Astro sensor here. And I've got the one that uh, Kenny Powers here has made for us today. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's, uh, we are clear the tower. Let's go ahead and boost out of here. And let's get going up to space. And let's check this thing out. Let's see what it does. Okay, so clearly we've got our vertical speed, 640 something. Let's compare it to ours. Man, it's already reading a higher number than what we are. I'm interested to see if some of this, uh, everyone's math is gonna be a little different here. 
and this is vertical speed versus lunar approach speed so this is totally something different here um, i'm guessing these numbers might match up at some point uh altitude is five six k uh that is correct distance from earth we're about to hit seven and it just hit seven so that's correct i don't know what this apg is ap 22k 22k not sure uh I'll be, I'll be waiting for some comments there oh it looks like we're drawing some sort of line here around the map as well uh, i wonder if this is an actual line of what we're doing or if this is a representation of orbit oh oh okay and we can turn we can turn it a little bit you can see okay we can rotate there is some rotation to this map okay we can rotate around i'm looking for a oh there's the moon right there okay oh and these are a little tough to hit this is a work in progress so we are pretty good here uh we're just going to leave it just like that where are we at as uh, boosters boosters are still good we are starting to see the curvature of the earth here soon as we uh as soon as those boosters run out they should automatically fire and then they should kick on our liquid thrusters yep there we go and at any minute there they go boosters off and liquid thrusters are on there we go everything's working like it should cool so we are just uh you can kind of see the moon there let's uh let's change the time here so you guys can see where we're headed there we go there is the moon and we are headed to it so now it says we're in suborbital okay i'm not sure what's going on let's see if we can rotate this around and see how we are actually traveling this this path here yeah i'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this path i feel like this is an orbit path and we are actually headed to the moon because that that's not going to get us to the moon unless this is representing the slingshot that happens around the earth and then we get to the moon i don't know we'll uh we'll have to see Ooh, okay whoops we're backwards there hang on let's rotate like so and then we can flip up like that i think that's more correct of how we're going all right cool uh so i guess we're just gonna head to the moon for a little bit and see how this all lines up and then i'll get back with you guys in a second All right, so far systems are okay. I'm still going to the moon the way I know how to get to the moon, which is uh, literally by eye. Uh, I've gotten there several times by doing it that way, just kind of just shooting for the moon and landing on it. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. We've got some uh, got some issues here going on with our so-called orbit here. We were way off course here for a second, but now it looks like we're back into our our little ring here. And it looks like our ring is getting bigger. So I'm not sure what this ring is. Maybe the uh, the creator can give us a little heads up here. There's not much information on the workshop other than this thing is skyrocketing to the front page right now. Uh, so I wanted to give that a check and see how it was doing. Uh, I'm guessing we'll get more features here as the days roll on. And yeah, we are we are really booking it here. Okay, so it says we are in orbit. Um, we are not in Stormworks orbit. Stormworks orbit is around 300,000 uh, K from from earth and we are nowhere near that so i'm not sure what's going on here maybe this is what we would consider an actual orbit if this was real life i feel like a lot of this is coming from kerbal space station uh if you guys can correct me on that uh i think this is a real actual sensor here uh but i'm not sure where this comes from but i am 100 digging it i think it's a really cool uh concept we haven't seen anything like this other than some some basic information coming out of a microcontroller or some uh some dials here so to get some sort of visual representation is really nice that's uh it's, it's hard to understand how accurate this is considering how weird it is to get to our moon here in stormworks uh let's see if we can aim here and see what happens to our green dot because it looks like we've gotten off course here a little bit let's see let's course correct see what happens to our green dot we're just we're just aiming for these two craters on the back side of these two craters is our landing crater and that will be when the map starts to spawn back in. I'd really love how to know how to use this. This this feels like it has a lot of good information in it. And as I'm moving around and course correcting, I'm seeing things move, but I'm not sure how to actually use these and understand these. So I would love I would love a lesson if somebody wants to uh, give me a long uh, long drawn out paragraph down in the uh, comments. That'd be great. Uh, I just realized I have a light on, uh, so I could turn that on. You guys could see what's going on in here a little bit better. That makes that makes things easier. 
So as you notice, as we start approaching the moon, we start our horizon line starts to change here. So we're no longer going straight up. We're technically upside down right now, and we're starting to become more level with with our moon here. And if we can find ourselves on the map, you can see that we are slowly rocketing to the right side here. Uh, in my experiences, the moon is actually way off over here on our map. You can't technically get there because if you're in this map and we hit this edge right here, you're coming back over here. But once you break free of this map, then you can actually start coming further and further over to the right. And that's kind of how it feels every single time that I've, uh, I've made it to the moon here. Oh, we have lost our moon. The, the sunlight has changed. Let's get it back so we can see where we're going. There we go. That is kind of scary every time that does that. So let's see. According to our X-Plane variants, we're, we're pretty close to center here, but we're kind of flipping back around the back side. You notice we're way off of what I would consider this to be orbit. I'm guessing this is our orbit line. That's got to be what this is. Oh, but we're starting to see the other side of the moon here. Um, we're getting pretty close. I'm curious to see how much closer this thing actually comes in to the moon. It's almost like we've been slingshotted out and now we're back coming down here. And again, I'd probably, I'm probably going to use this on a one by three. Uh, I'd like to see maybe some less, not so much sensitivity on the arrow keys here so that when you move around, it is a little bit slower. But again, I, I'm, I'm being picky on something that is a work in progress. Um, I'm sure that's something that is probably planned already, uh, seeing how fast it moves. Uh, it looks like we're actually starting to dip off the side of the map here. That doesn't seem very good for us, but we are still headed to the moon, so I'm not sure where we went on this map. But we've got another 162k to go, so hopefully we will show back up. Okay, so now, now I'm lined up. I've got this little arrow, or I've got this little, let's see. I had it. There it goes. Oh, oh, okay. You can see that little... There we go. Boom. I feel like that is our target. That little yellow thing is what we need to be aiming for to make it to this map. And I feel like it keeps changing. But as I get... Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we've got another little ring outside the moon here. That's cool. So this must be our so-called like orbit rings. That's I'm guessing that's anything past that you're probably going to start sinking into gravity. Uh, I'd really like to... Uh, Creator of this, shoot me a message. I'd like to know some more information about this. I'd really love to show this off some more. And uh, I don't know, just get your get your get your ideas of where you're going with this because this is really cool. I did not expect it to jump from Earth to Moon and show some sort of ring here. Uh, but yeah, you can see our artificial horizon. We are technically going down now, which is uh, really weird. Uh, it does look like we're going down, and based on the sun, it feels like we're going down. We are headed right for our crater here, and it looks like we are Moon. So now we are in Moon orbit. Okay. I, I'm curious to know where we're getting this information from of being close to the moon. If this is just real world information that we're pulling here, because uh, I don't know if this is actually Stormworks world kind of stuff. Let's see if I can get that yellow bar back into the center here. But so that is straight at the moon here, but that is not, we're aimed right, but we're not, we're still traveling towards the pit. So interesting. Well, we're just going to, uh, I'm just going to eyeball it because that's how I've gotten here every single time. Oh, there it is. Maybe I'll have to do a tutorial for you guys on how to get to the moon using just the artificial horizon. Because uh, that's how I've been doing it since day one. Since DLC space has come out, I've literally just been using the artificial horizon to make it here. No extra equipment needed. Yeah, so it looks like our orbit is actually getting kind of a little smaller here. As we uh, as we get closer to the moon, we can do something like that. That'll uh, give us a better idea. It's, this is a really cool idea, though. Could, to be able to take something that's a straight line and then incorporate it into something that looks like an orbit... I think is a really nice job. That's a really nice job done. Uh, I'd really like to get to this moon surface here. We are gonna we are gonna definitely crash into the moon today. Now I do have other stages on this. I've been practicing with the stages. Uh, we could get rid of all of our liquid fuel here and just take our command command module to the moon here. We could do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we, let's get a little closer first. We've got quite a bit of ways to go, and then we can do some detaching. All right, I am pretty sure at this point we are going to, uh, we are definitely going to crash into the moon. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our liquid fuel here. So that would be stage three. We can get rid of that. Boom. And it is gone. And now we are just using our command module and we've got a little bit more sensitivity there. So we can kind of aim here. Let's see if I can roll over. Nope, I can't roll over. Reaction wheels still aren't strong enough. Uh, but we are now headed into the crater here. It looks like our orbit is getting smaller and smaller. Maybe a zoom feature on this would be nice too, so we can get a, we can make this moon a little bit bigger. I don't know. That, I'm just throwing ideas out there at this point. Um, but I feel like I'm starting to understand this. But I'd love I'd love a, a nice little tutorial on this or some sort of explanation so I can understand what's going on there. All right. At this point, I don't think we were not going to hit the moon. Um, 
we are dead center of that square that's right below us and i'm pretty sure that's the actual map here that one square that we can see um everything else is just a just kind of think about it like a it's a cloud uh it's just a giant moon shaped cloud that's covering our world here and then we're just going to blast through it and we're going to hit the map here uh like to i have no idea which way is up on this thing let's get back in our capsule here so we can see that does not help us at all uh let's see that is pitch so pitch is which way I need lines on this thing. If I had lines on the bottom or the top, I could probably understand which way my up is. There we go. We've got this figured out. We just need to crash into the moon. All right, map is starting to show up. Nice, so we have technically made it here. Uh, we could probably kill our thrust here. Let's see, and we'll just uh, we'll just float down. So yeah, guys, uh, that was a uh, little demo of the 3D space navigation system or the flight trajectory display. Uh, this was by Kenny Powers. Uh, really nice job, Kenny. Really nice job. Uh, please shoot me a message. I'd like to know some more about this and where you're taking this. I think it's really cool. Uh, and if you guys have any idea how to use this uh, this little sensor here, I feel like I was getting close to an understanding, but not close at all. Uh, we are 50,000 feet or 50,000 K from smashing in here. So we are going to hit it pretty hard here. But yeah, guys, uh, I want to say thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying these series, make sure you do a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, we made it to the moon. We're here. And we're forever. We're forever here. All right. See you in the next one.